the nation is way different than playing on other stages because yeah. chain grabs become more important. Um, Marth can just like combo you for Fox for days. Yeah. So um, right now we've still been doing stage striking, uh, but we also, if you, if people just want to go random, they can. Okay. And then we'll, we've been doing. There's one band for the um, All right, for the Mars. next two matches. It looks like they just banned a stage and went random, so that's an interesting way of doing it. Well, Rather than doing uh, striking all the way down, they just said, we both agree we don't want to play this stage. Yep. <laughs> and then let's go random on top of that. So that's a good way of doing it, too. The interesting thing about doing a gentleman's random tonight is the fact that there are two new stages in the build since Monday. So there's a little bit that people might not be used to. Yeah, it seems like Heaven Tower, Heaven's Tower feels very similar to uh, Battlefield. Yeah, so that one, you're right. That one's not as bad. Like, I don't think you have to think too much about it yeah. compared to the other stages we've had. Uh, on the other hand, Blazing Hideout, which is Forsburn's stage, mm -hmm. is a, it's kind of a unique layout. It's, um, it's a lot like, uh, there's a Brawl stage, Yoshi's Story or Yoshi's I, uh, The one with the slant. It's kind of like that if the platform yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. slant. Um, I, I believe that's Yoshi's story. Yeah, I think it's Yoshi's story. And um, so that stage, some characters actually do would ban that stage because, mm -hmm. uh, for example, Edelis, um, a lot of times when you're playing in a zoner matchup with Edelis, it's really important to get armor. Yeah. Um, so you, you want to use neutral special. Yeah, and his, his side special wouldn't, wouldn't work yeah, on that well, normally. Yeah, well, one, you can't get side special to be on the ground. And two, uh, yeah. that platform's so low that you can't, like, safely neutral special up there without them being able to retaliate. Gotcha. Like, a lot of times, um, I played against Shinku, who's a Californian player who uh, likes to play a zoning style. And when he plays Edelis, he likes to go up to the top platforms and get his armor up there. Okay. And you just can't get that high on um, Forest Burn stage. So he would definitely ban that stage if he was... Um, playing Atlas, for example. Gotcha. Yeah, so here we're seeing Tandori's Maple. I believe both Ralph and Tandori will be playing Maple tonight. They both have very good uh, combo games. Yeah, I've I've played against Ralph's Maple in the past and uh, basically learned a lot about this game that I hadn't had known before. The uh, Ralph was saying that uh, Maple probably has the best tech chase in the entire game. Um, Part of that's because of her neutral air. It basically extends really far yeah. and with her speed on top of it. Uh, yeah. So obviously we don't want her to have a perfect tech chasing because then there's no, re right, there's the no uh, rock paper scissors in that. There's uh -huh. no fun. Uh, so we're like looking at her neutral air, but also she is the fastest character, so that is going to be one of her strengths. Like yeah. for example, in melee, uh, Captain Falcon is one of the best ta tech chasing characters. Mm -hmm. So is Sheik. They both have really good running speeds, and that having a good dash speed and a good ground speed is what really makes tech chasing a uh, like a good option for you. Yeah. And then Mabel also just has a lot of moves that have a low angle hit, like her down air, the root sends forward, her forward tilt sends forward. Yeah. Um, she can forward air you back into the ground. So she has a lot of options that are going to cause a tech situation. Sure. And if you don't tech, then she's probably going to hit you too, because she's chasing after you. <laughs> yeah. So this matchup, this match is going interesting because uh, I think it's Shem. Shemi is yeah. uh, definitely like answering back to the aggression. That's Maple's thing. It's if you can't deal with the constant aggression, it's hard. But if you're always putting out hitboxes and like kind of answering, then you can kind of do work. It looks a lot more even than game one. Yeah, I think I think once uh, Shammy gets um, gets a gets a roll going, should be okay. But she, uh, she can't seem to. Oh, I'm sorry, he can't seem to be able to. Uh, to get a foothold in. So that was really cool. Uh, Tandori just did, there's like a little tech you can do with Maple's forward special where you uh, reverse it right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And the, the reason it's interesting now, when we first launched in early access, uh, forward special used to just knock forward. It was just like a normal attack. Now it knocks behind her. Uh, oh, interesting. Which actually, when you reverse it now, it kind of sets up different opportunities than when you didn't. Because okay. you kind of reverse it and you both end up going the same direction and then you could followed up into an up tilt. Uh, if they do something, if they DI, or if they air dodge up, then they're sitting there for an up smash. So it definitely opens up different options if you reverse your forward special now. Okay. Ooh, that, was like, that was a nice combo. If he had a bit more percent, he could have finished that stock right there. Yeah. Yeah, here we see like just the power of Maple Snare. It's like one of our most important tools, um, just with how fast it is and the 
amount of space it covers. Well, that was a that was a that was a good recovery actually. Yeah. Yeah, because you could tell Raster was. Yeah, if, uh, it feels like Ra if Raster had done that a little bit lower, he just would have just dived off the stage. Yeah, that's always a risk. It basically, the way it works is you have a minimum distance you can travel before you can jump out of it. Okay. So you can't you can't do that too low, or you'll yeah. basically just dive to your death. And that is game two. Yeah, so that was a, that was a good set. Um, Sandori's showing why that he's uh, our second seed, and then yeah. uh, Shem. Shem?